Hey guys, Kurt from Pray the Gospel, and I just got back a little bit ago. Uh, my friend Luke and I went out, and remember those Ray Comfort mini flyers that I made um, for Ray Comfort's new movie, The Exit? Uh, it's about depression and suicide. If you want a copy of the file, it looks like this. It's just really simple, nothing too spiffy. Doesn't have to be. Um, less is more sometimes and the correct information is there that's all you really need so we just got back it's late it's like uh, well it's almost uh, midnight now but it was like 9 30 when we started going out and we just went door to door in a couple of specific areas that I wanted to reach and just leaving these on people's doors now this is the second time I went out for this particular um, tract, or not, it's not really a tract, it's, not, it's an indirect way to share the gospel. The gospel itself is not on here, but it will lead people to the gospel if they go to the website or go to YouTube and check out the movie. And it's about depression and suicide, so it might even save a life in the process. Uh, it's just a really super easy way, just one way of many different ways, many different ways to get the gospel out there, either uh, directly or indirectly, which I plan on sharing on this channel soon. So we went out there, and uh, what I wanted to share in, in particular, because I, I shared this um, in the previous video, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's like two or three minutes long. But I share that, you know, if you're someone who's just really shy when it comes to sharing the gospel and you just want to get your foot wet, so to speak, and just kind of test things out and maybe take some baby steps, is to, um, you know, because this is an indirect way and it's not overtly religious. Well, um, we, we did go out kind of late tonight. Um, I like to get out kind of more earlier in the day uh, when there's still sunlight. But it just so happened to be that, you know, went out late, it happens sometimes, and it's all right. Uh, in some instances, I mean, you don't want to go at two in the morning, you know, going up to people's doorsteps to be thinking that, you know, maybe you're up to no good. So, got the kids to bed at around nine o'clock and headed out to Two Rivers to pick up my friend Luke. We went out, and uh, there was one instance we went to this apartment building, this apartment complex, and um, the doors were on the outside. So, we started hanging out a couple, and this lady was outside and she saw what we were doing. And she was talking, she kind of yelled over to my friend Luke. Now, he was behind me a little bit, so it took me a couple of seconds to realize that she was talking to him. And um, you know, Luke's just telling her, I don't know what, how the conversation started, but Luke's telling her, oh, we're just handing out these flyers. And then she's like, oh, we don't allow that here. We don't allow advertisements. And she was kind of mad about it, what we were doing. She didn't know what we were doing, at, you know, just in that we were handing some stuff out. But she's like, oh, we don't allow that here. She's kind of upset about it. So then I came in and I said, oh, we're just handing out, um, uh, what we're handing out is a awareness of um, suicide and depression. And it's a free movie, it's online, people can go check it out. So I, I just basically said that. And, uh, and then I threw into that, you know, it, it offers people hope. And it's sort of a big thing around in this area. Um, and I know some people who have suffered from depression or suicide. Um, and right away, she was so against what we were doing, then she softened up just in an instant, and she's like, oh, okay, that I'll allow that, it's fine. And she wasn't the manager there or anything, but she just was somebody who was outside having a cigarette, actually. Um, but she was okay with it right away, and that's what you all you have to do. If you want to go door to door and hand these out, um, use a rubber band and uh, put it to the doorknob or whatever, you know, by all means, do that, and if somebody sees you, just tell them that information. You don't necessarily have to say it's about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, you can if you want, by all means, but this is, you know, just one way to, you know, if you're really shy about getting the gospel out there, one way to get their, your feet wet. Um, now, I actually have my evangelism big on me right now. It's kind of funny, too, because she's like, oh, you know, don't, you know, if you're not um, trying to sell some kind of fitness, related thing or something like that and I don't know she saw my shirt you know anytime fitness it's just an old shirt that I had I just kind of threw it on last minute I'm like eh, it's an old shirt whatever I don't care what I wear um so maybe she thought that we were trying to promote some kind of or, or sell some kind of fitness something or the other so again this is the little flyer that I made up you have the rubber band in there it's cardstock paper you can buy it at Walmart rubber bands at Walmart for really cheap now 
don't mind my incredibly messy basement. But uh, I've got a door down here to demonstrate. Real simple. Check this out. Wow, look at that. See how easy that was? That's all you have to do. Or you can have, see I have a bunch that are either in the rubber band or not in the rubber band. And what you could do, you know, if the door is shut, just kind of slide it in between the crack there. I don't know how well you can see that. It's kind of dark, but, and there you go. So, yeah. Really easy. Again, messy basement. This is kind of my, my man cave down here. Um, I work on all kinds of evangelism stuff on my old school computer right there. Like my I mm -hmm. Love Garlic hat. That's actually from Ray Comfort. There's a story behind that, but that was actually his at one point. But anyway, so... I just wanted to share that to hopefully be encouraging. I just had to check and see if I was still filming. Um, because, you know, guys, there's so many ways you can get the gospel. And that's what this channel is about. I hope to share many videos in the future. Just different ways, really easy ways, some of them more direct. Just all kinds of ways to share the gospel. I mean, I have so many ideas for other content I want to put out in the future. Like, um... I mean, obviously there's going to be parades. I mean, in two days or whenever you see this, it might be one day, but Monday is Labor Day. There's one Labor Day parade that I hope to hit up. And this time I'm going to do more parade in the video and less talking. The last one I did, and uh, I think it was Sheboygan, um, the one I posted to this channel, I did more talking than I did actual parade. But I just want to show you guys how easy it is and hope to encourage you guys to do something like that as well. And uh, I, I just want to saturate, you know, as much area as possible with the gospel message of Jesus Christ. So there's parades, there's um, just all sorts of different things. What I want to do is, uh, in the future, show you some video of, um, there's this app online, uh, or on your phone, that you can use to really get the gospel out there. I mean, you can literally talk to somebody about the gospel right this very second. Uh, just to people who need it. It's very awesome. I'll get more in depth with that. Um, the app name is called Whisper, um, but I'd like, to, I'd like to explain how you can use that app to share the gospel, and I'll do that in a future video. Um, oh man, there's, my mind's just drawing a blank right now, but there's so many other ideas. Even if it's just simple, something simple as leaving a gospel track somewhere where somebody will see it, I'll make a video about that. If, if that's just how you want to start out, then great. I mean, it's something. And that's kind of how I started out back in 2005, 2006. Um, I was really shy and I didn't think I could ever talk to anybody. But I just started out by leaving gospel tracks, good gospel tracks that, you know, has the gospel message on it. And it's not a few good, seeker sensitive, friendly message. It talks about sin. It talks about repentance. And it does so with tact. So it's not like, you know, beating your head over the uh, beating your head with the Bible. Um, but uh, I hope to make some videos about that in the future. So please like this video, subscribe, um, and leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts down below. The more subscribers I have, I, I, you know, I think this is the case with algorithms and YouTube and stuff like that. The more subscribers I have, the more likes you have for a video, more comments. It helps get those videos out there. So please subscribe to this channel because you're, you're definitely going to like the content that's going to come out in the future, especially as it relates to different ways to get the gospel out there. And I hope to encourage many of you to do that. And uh, if you have any questions, um, email me at paradethegospel at gmail.com or leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Um, if you want me to help you in any way possible, if you want um, the file uh, for those flyers. I can set you up with, or hook you up with that for free. Um, just if there's anything I can give you, if I uh, pray for you, um, just anything. I That's what I'm here for. I want to teach you how different ways to show the gospel or just whatever. So I got nothing else to say. I'm going to keep on rambling if I don't stop now. So uh, God bless you guys and thanks for watching. And subscribe.